Hey guys, Caleb with Black Pearl Media. Thank you so much for stopping by. I've got a super exciting video for you guys planned today where we are going to be installing the wheels and tires onto Daniel's car. We're probably going to have to roll the fenders, so we're going to go ahead and get to that. So let's take the wheels and take them over to Ryan so he can get them mounted up for us. I am unbelievably excited to get these wheels on the car. They're going to completely change the look of the car. And these are the these are the modifications. These are the ones that are really gratifying because you're going to be able to see an instant transformation of the car and it's just going to be amazing i can't wait to see what they look like it's going to be a little bit of work to get them fit into the fenders we're definitely going to have to do some rolling at least i think so and uh yeah let's just let's just go let's get these over to ryan he'll go ahead and get them mounted up for us and uh we'll get rocking and rolling all right guys, so we're here. We just dropped off the wheels. Ryan's inside. He's gonna pull those in here and get them mounted up with the tires we dropped off yesterday. We'll be picking these up in a couple of hours. All right, it's rolled. Only a few little cracks, like very, very tiny, but nothing on the exterior, so I'm good. So Steve, let's roll this thing over here. We'll see what this looks like. so i couldn't play a lot of that video with audio in the garage because there was a gym next door with a lot of copyrighted music just blasting so i hope you guys enjoyed the footage of us putting the wheels and tires on and rolling the fenders that's the first time i have ever rolled fenders before and i think i did a pretty good job driver's side i did get one small little crack passenger side nothing and the passenger side went even faster so when you have the right tools heat and patience it can go your way but let's talk about the elephant in the room which is that the wheels and tires have extreme amounts of poke they're sticking out about an inch to an inch and a half and it's making driving a little bit uncomfortable because the coilovers are awesome first of all but they're so awesome when they're at full stiff it doesn't rub very much, but it's a very stiff ride and that's not very fun when you have to daily drive the car. Now the game plan has always been to cut the fenders and fit a wide body kit. One that was a very special kit, it's like the only one they make in the world and it can't come to the United States for reasons which I'll explain later. But we did get something to try and fix that temporarily. You'll see that in the next video. But overall, I'm really happy with how the wheels look on the car. The gunmetal gray on the silver looks fantastic. And I can't wait to stuff the big brakes that we got uh, right in there. And they're going to feel right at home. Plenty of space for them. And I think they're going to look really good. So keep an eye out for that video as well. But the car is transforming in front of our eyes. It's happening really quickly. And I love it. It's hard without the audio, but when we dropped the car the other night, it was so much fun. It was a ton of fun just being ridiculous, dropping it down, looking at what it looks like, 
with the new setup and it's just it's crazy 10 and a half squared is an absurd amount of poke on this car but it's gonna look awesome i have forward thinking with this you're gonna have to trust me and stick around subscribe to the channel and watch what happens to this car because it's gonna be sick daniel would have loved it this is the thing that i wanted him to experience these are the things that he got to experience a little bit before he passed and when we were putting these wheels on i don't know it was like there was such an energy there and i felt like he was present and i wished he was there because to spend the time with steve ryan with other steve and just everybody who was around to help out to problem solve it was a little bit ridiculous we had to go to my house to try and find the the wheel locking key and it was just a whole mess but it was fun it's genuinely fun and that's the part of building cars with friends you just make all these memories and it's it's almost not about the car at that point it's just about building camaraderie, building brotherhoods and quality friendships where these guys will help you out no matter what's going on. And I love that. So from the bottom of my heart, Steve, Steve and Ryan, thank you so much for helping us out and uh, getting the car where it needs to be so far. And I hope I see you guys on the next video because it's gonna be really cool. We're gonna fix this poking issue for less than $100 hopefully. And uh, it's going to be something new for me, a learning experience. So I'll try and, you know, show you what I do and hopefully you can learn from my mistakes. But 10 and a half wide, completely squared on this car will work, but it takes a little bit of negotiating. So if you're willing to do that, it's absolutely possible. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on the next one.